Hello everybody. In this video I want to talk a little bit about input validation and a little bit how to scaffold our application and have like a several files and how to import external libraries. So it's, it's going to be a little bit of both of course. It's a really simple video, it's not that complicated. So let's actually get started. As you can see, I already have my Visual Studio Code open. I have files called sales py. And what I want to do is calculate my sales items uh, to, to see how much I want to actually sell uh, sold those, those items. What that means is I will ask for a wholesale price and from those wholesale I will add a markup. That markup will be pretty much my benefit or my gain for that particular file. And then I will show how much do you need actually to sell it. So it's a really good example. Um, we can have uh, several elements there. And I want to use the function approach. So I want to separate a couple of things. But first of all, I will create a, a constant called markup. And this is going to be 1.5. That means that my markup is going to be from like adding 50% over the price of a specific element. Right. So let me have that. Um, let me just do something really simple. I will have my calculate. And let's say something like for now, let's just print hello. And let me work on like that. Perfect, and uh, let's do a definition of main. My main function, and it's going to have um, let's call the loop equal yes, and uh, while loop is equal to yes, this is your handling. I will be calling my calculate and then I wait just to call my loop equal input of again Something as simple as this, and then we can do in May the color in the end. And actually, let's print more markup just to have to see that it's a little bit more. So I have a calculate right now, I just printed my markup is where I will send print of my information later and my main definition. I have my loaf and variable, and uh, whatever I have that y is going to be doing this printing, calling the calculate, and then asking about that variable. So let's verify if this actually works. So let's execute the code. So he says, if we put yes, perfect. If I continue doing yes, it's still adding, or it's still doing what I need to do. If I put n, it's just get out, right? As simple as that, because the loop is already ended. One of the things, that I want to check is we put a capital Y. I want actually to continue. So how can I actually handle? Well, there's two ways. And uh, let's go to the cheat sheet for a little bit. And over the cheat sheet, let's see for the, where is it? Condition statement, no. Uh, Let's look for, it should be somewhere there. Here we go, my volume logic, the one that I was looking. So I want to see if this is true or this is true. I need to use the keyword or. 
So let me actually try it. One way to validate this input, actually you say something like or loop is equal, remember, because we need to have double uh, sign in there, equal to capital J. They will make, when I put lowercase or, or uppercase, is actually working. It's a really good way to actually verify it. Another one will be like interacting a little bit with the um, with the string directly, and what I'm saying is returning to the chat chip, going to the second. At the end, we have operation with string. We call something called lower. This is what it does is convert our string to lower cases. So we can actually do something still like this with the or. We're going to do something like lower. Uh, let me try it. Let's get it out. Execute. If I put yes or yes, it's actually working. Because whatever I input, input, I always lower cases. So I just have only one validation to do. This is just a way to do it, actually. I and mean, it's pretty cool. It's pretty, pretty nice. So let's actually run the calculate. So in here, we are going to be doing is print where is the whole cell value and let's actually put it like a input here let's actually put it like wholesale equal input this and then I can actually do a validation I want to see that actually wholesale is a valid a specific number. So what I can do is, of course, I need to cast it because every input is always a text. So now my whole cell is a is a float item. So I can actually verify if while Wholesale less than zero. I want to do something about it. And what I want to be doing is print error that is not a valid number, not valid price, let's say, for example. And then we actually, if not, it's going to be jumping in. And let's say that the retail price should be, and let's actually do this one. And let's do my plus wholesale by markup and let's, let's see if that actually works so what is the wholesale value let's see it's one oh it's not doing what it's supposed to let me check if they like it uh, Oh, I need to cast this as a string. So let me verify a little bit something. What I can do is I can actually use a format. So let's actually format this to be uh, with two decimals. So let me do one, there we go. Oh, 
it should be inside. Sorry for this. Here. Let's run it again. Again, yes. We will do two, give me three. Perfect. Yes, again. And let me do 50, 75, etc., etc., etc. So we have a couple of validation. Let me do something as minus one. Um, I have an infinite loop there. So let me just put this over here. So if I do something like minus one, it gives me an error. And it asks me again. So until I give you the, that particular number that I require, oh, that's an exit, something else there. But until I give you what I need, like something like 11, 12, now it gives me a retail price in there. And I want to get out right now, and I want to stop it here. I don't want to complicate things. So what I, as you can see, I have my marker variable. I have my calculate in there, and my main loop. So my loop, I just created a control variable. This control variable that you can see over here is, is having a particular have a j as default. This j as default is specified like whenever. And on this while, I will verify that that value is the num is the technical exactly one that I want. But one of the validations that I'm doing is to the lower. I'm specifying that always lowercase my variable. So it doesn't matter if I put uppercase in there, it is going to transform it in always be doing only one validation. Of course, you can do an or. And you can have extra there. So whenever this is yes, we run this calculation and then we ask if we needed to run it again. Remember, this loop is asked again over here, so it was outside and then inside, because this is actually my control variable to get out from my wild statement. And it's something really similar that we do with the error. So I'm asking for my wall cell. I'm validating that wall sales, and if that fails, I ask it again inside my while. As you can see in there, so we have a validation checking the number, we have validation checking out the specific string. We need to accommodate those kind of validation we need to remember. And of course, whenever we print a number here and we do a combination with text, we can actually use the format, and I pretty much the wall site that I gave does my markup and I give you a uh, sorry for that in two decimals. So two decimals will actually help us to verify that it's doing what it's uh, just showing those two decimals in there and it's a lot a lot better to understand or to saw it in the output. So let's do something extra here. Let's call taxes and let's going to be one point Oh, eight, twenty-five. Like is it one point? Is it eight point twenty-five percent? Pretty much. So let me do something like that. So the retail price should be this one, and we can actually print that here with the tax. If we execute now, let's do one. And now it's going to be 162, including tax. With taxes, should be, let's do two, perfect. Let's do five, and I give me my calculation the way that it's supposed to be done. Excellent, very cool. So this is pretty much input validation. Um, I want to do you know, something extra, and right? it's called actually called um, importing external libraries. That's pretty much the subject that we're going to see this week, and it's really short and really easy to understand. So far, we have been working with just one file. What I want to do is I want to break up this function 
I want to overcome my constant, I want to break on my calculate function, and then in another file I want to have my main. That way we have three different files, and my main it want to import the other two and do whatever it actually need to have. So how we can actually do that? So let's let me get out, let me create um and let me do do a touch my const py and let's create another file called calculate py so i have now my const and my calculate and those two are pretty much empty what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to go to my cells i will take my constants from here and save it my constants and my calculate Sorry for that. Uh, I want to move it over here. Yeah. And let me go to the calculate one. So we have my constants here. And as you can see, you have the extension installed. It's actually telling you that you have errors in here and there. One, calculate is not defined. And in calculate markup and the tags doesn't exist. So how can I actually use that? Well, because we are in the same folder, you can use something like this, and it's as really simple as import my const. Uh, just to import my const, I can actually have const dot markup, and I can have const dot tax. And that's it. And in my sales, I just import. And I imported const because that's the name of the file. So here I will import calculate. Calculate. And like I call it. Um, actually, this is rather than the name. But let's call it like this. Calculate, calculate. And that's it. If we run it again, just run in the sales one, we'll see that also value is one, it's doing what it's supposed to, five, get out. So let me do a five in there, we're calculating, yes, because I want to repeat, let's do a two, yes, now let's do a 6.55, then bump dot 64 and go on and go on it's actually doing what it's supposed to that way in, let's talk about a probably bigger thing something or you will say you know what my markup it need to be increased a little bit you just change one particular file and with that change it the new whole size is going to be reflected right there so let's increase it actually to two so a really big one and now to one, we said now we have to 17 versus 173 because we just increase it or markup number. So I hope that you like it. We saw a little bit how to play with uh, basic, really, we are doing really basic input validation, but not only that, we actually able to import external libraries in this case separating the logic in different files and then we can import it through this process. I hope that you liked the video. Any question or any doubt, don't hesitate to reach me. Happy coding everybody.